guys some rest? I'm yeah. Right. yeah. So we've got something really fun planned for today. It's really about the brides. I want to give you guys some pampering, a little glamifying today. Guys, you don't have to feel bad though. We do have something really fun planned for you too. All right. All right, come on girls. You're looking good right off the rack. I think the t-shirt's the way to go. I want to try something a little bit lighter. So if you were walking down the street in this bad boy, how would you feel? Oh, like a million bucks. All right, we're gonna start out with your neck. Make it look good. Take a look, what do you think? I'm gonna need a bigger tape. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah right? Now what I think we should do, gentlemen, is go to the table and accessorize some of the suits we looked at. So gentlemen, some of the keys to making a suit work are the accessories. I'd like to set up a bow tie with you, because okay. I want to show off your physique. And right. you said you like a little bit of fashion forward, so yes, this is definitely, definitely a way to go. I know you like to go out there a little bit, so I thought maybe something a little bit more wild. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. There we go, Wade. Is, this, is that it? The slim the fit traveler there. really does the trick on you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. A summer weight, cotton blend suit. Yeah. Beautiful suit. Nothing more oh, fly than a guy is. in a bow tie, right? <laughs> all right. Look at that. I like it. Gentlemen, you guys are looking super fine. Thank and you. all because of you. So take a seat, get comfortable. We have Kimmy from Sally Hansen. She's a celebrity manicurist. And she brought her lovely team with her. They're going to be giving us manicures today. Awesome. We know manicure is super important to your wedding day because all everyone wants to do is look at your new ring. So the four different options are modern, heart, lace, and glitter. And America will vote on those four options. Are your ladies liking your color so far? Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's super cute. You like all the different shades of pink? Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's fun to fun. see the different colors, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Kimmy, I know that Sally Hansen has really good at-home products if people want to do these looks at home. If you could walk us through how to do each one of these looks at home, maybe we'll start with the lace look. For the lace look, you need pink a card as your color, and then you can use the Sally Hansen nail art pen to get the design. You want to do your base color first. Okay. And once that sits for just a second, because you want to let the top air dry a bit because you don't want it to be super wet or your pen will sink into the polish while you're trying to you know write or do your design right. and you can see she's creating the moon first which is the easiest way to get that look is building shapes on top of shapes if you wanted to achieve the glitter look at home what would be the first step the glitter style can be achieved by using shall we dance as your base coat and golden rule as the glitter fade on top the first step again is polishing the nail that base color mm -hmm. And then you'll take one of the glitter colors from Sally Hansen that are in a clear base. So it's not a color, just the glitter pieces are color. And you'll lightly brush okay. that into the back and it just disperses that glitter kind of thick in the back and then you stretch it, like you brush it thinner out through the nail and it gets that fade. The heart design is super easy. All you need is pink pong and the nail art pen. The heart look, we're just using the pink pong and making the base color and then we'll let it sit for a second. And then the way it's designed is to make the arch of the heart kind of in the middle of the nail or towards the French tip of the nail uh -huh. and then bring the point right to the corner. Okay. But again, you can flip that over. You can do it in different areas. It doesn't have to be on the same corner. It's okay. whatever you like. The last look is modern. And the way that you achieve this is you use peach of cake as your base coat. And then on top, you'll use the striper brush from the nail art kit using wedding glitters to create the lines. And are these some of the more popular looks now, Kimmy? Well, nail art is made quite a rise in the industry. So now people are incorporating art or something fun in their manicure for all kinds of occasions, including weddings. Kimmy, there's a lot going on, on the day of the wedding, for rehearsal, the honeymoon. So how do you keep your manicure looking really nice through all of that? Well, it's always good to make sure it's fresh so you have it's a recent manicure. And then using a top coat every couple days really extends the life of your nails. Ladies, everyone done? Did you get your look? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I do. I want to see do. each one. Lynn, tell me, show me what you got. So I have the heart. Okay. Do you like it? I do. It's, it's understated, really pretty. but bridal and very pretty. Exactly, it is. It's understated. It's still kind of traditional on every nail except for one mm -hmm. on each hand. Which the ring is finger. <laughs> the ring finger. The important finger. The ring finger. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Valentina, what did you get? Um, I got the lace. I love it. I love the pink. It looks very romantic. I think it's very cute. Very um, girly. Portia? I got the glitter. The glitter. I like the glitter. It's sparkly. Me too. Yeah. And I got modern. Ooh, Modern's yeah, really different, really right? Cute. All right, you guys, well, now that our hands are looking quite fabulous, I think we should add some bling <gasps> to them. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Welcome everyone, I'm Michelle Myers, I'm the publisher of Brides Magazine, and with me is Z, the CEO of Simon G Jewelry. We're here today at Robin's Brothers, the engagement ring store, an exclusive retailer of Simon G Jewelry. I wanted to congratulate you all for making it this far in the competition, and one lucky couple is going to win a million dollar fairy tale wedding. What kind of fairy tale would it be, right, without lots of diamonds? As you can see, I'm dripping in Simon G jewelry. I have a quarter of a million dollars of Simon G jewelry on. Um, so I'm going to leave you with C. Have a blast, and I'm going to see one of you lucky couples at the altar. Have a great day, Lauren Z. Take it away. Z, I know our couples, especially the brides, are so ready to see their options for the wedding bands. This is a category America gets to vote on. Z. No further ado. Oh my God. Ladies, I know you are so excited to get these wedding bands on, so why don't you pick your favorite? So Porsche's band design is a figure eight, almost an infinity sign, mm -hmm. to go all the way around the finger. There's a lot of symbolism yeah. when something is an infinity band. Forever. Yes. I forever. hope you guys know you're getting into forever. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on, you see a much more traditional band with round diamonds that has around seven stones on it, and they're a lot larger, so you see a little bit more sparkle, but it's a little bit more bolder as well. Valentina, what band do you have on? It's beautiful. She has a micro pave band. The unique part about this is the diamonds are extremely small, almost microscopic. Mm -hmm. And then I've got on a fourth band choice. This ring leans more on the vintage side where we see the shape of it kind of pinching in and, and coming and tapering down to a round center. So we definitely didn't forget the guys. I'll start with the first one. This is more of what we call like a machine turn band. Okay. Satin finish in the middle with high polish on the edges. Okay. This particular one is a modern contemporary with definitely defined lines. Again, the satin finish to give it the masculine look and the high polish to give it the modern contemporary. Right ring. We have a very sleek design. You can see from the sleekness of it that there isn't much going on. There is a little bit of a combination of colors. And you have your absolute classical one, which is classical and very traditional. Okay. We would love to see some possible wedding day jewelry. Absolutely, absolutely. I like to keep it simple. If you'd like to have an emphasis point, it should be either your earrings, your necklace, or your bracelet, but not all three together. Okay. So you might want to make a statement wearing a really nice bracelet and tone it down with the necklace and earrings or vice versa. We are going out to a nice dinner tonight. I don't know if anyone told you, but would you want to lend us anything Absolutely. for the dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Please feel free to pick one significant piece that's your absolute favorite. And you guys are more than welcome to wear it this evening. Yeah. Which one? Which one do you prefer? Are you asking me? Yeah. You have to look at me. That's true. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> so Valentina's going to wear this bracelet to dinner. Valentina's bracelet retails for around 10000 And the, And what does uh, Portia have on? She has 18 karat rose gold earrings that have around 13 carats of kunzite um, stones on them. And that one retails for about 10000 the marquee necklace um, does give a little bit of a traditional cut, um, and that retails for around seventy-five thousand. Wow! Over wow. twenty carats. Wow! I think you're ready to go to dinner now. Okay. I think so. I, I think they're ready to go. We are at SBE's Gladstone's Restaurant in Malibu. This is one of the most romantic spots locally. It's a really popular spot for date night, to wear lots of jewelry like you guys have on. How do you guys feel in all that jewelry? Fancy. Fancy, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Let's do a toast to our three finalists for Brides Live Million Dollar Wedding. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching episode three of Brian's Live Million Dollar Wedding. And we are here again with Brian's editor-in-chief, Kia Miner, and today we're going to talk about engagement rings. How do you even go about beginning to look for one? My biggest piece of advice for couples is to shop for the ring together. There are a lot of women who don't feel super comfortable with doing that. They want there to be some element of surprise. To those women, I say, tell your best friend, tell your sister, someone who he feels comfortable with 
tell them exactly what you want so that they can go shopping with him or help point him in the right direction. How do you even begin to start narrowing it down a little bit? Like you should know everything about the four C's. Cut, clarity, carrot, color. You want to know all about okay. that. And it also really matters on where you buy it from and who you buy it from, correct? Absolutely. It is essential to buy from a certified dealer because, and this brings me to my most important point, you want to insure that yes. ring. It is the least sexy part of shopping for an engagement <laughs> ring, but once that ring is in your possession, you have to insure it. All right, thanks so much, Kia, and thank you so much at home for watching this latest episode of Brian's Live Million Dollar Wedding. Make sure to head to brines.com to vote for your favorite manicure and wedding band.